Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and we're at my Google Hangout live. We are live on air which is very exciting and we have some people here to ask my questions and so we're going to introduce ourselves. So if we start with Karen, if you introduce yourself and then ask your question. Hi, I'm Karen. Um, my question to you is how do you feel to be a model at such a young age? Um, I think I love being a model at a young age and I think I'm so privileged to be able to do it and I love every second of doing it. Obviously I have school as well so the balance kind of keeps me grounded with all the excitement that I get in the modelling world. Um, but I'm really privileged to do it and I'm very excited to be doing it as well. Um, so next question we go to Jennifer, if you introduce yourself. Um, Hi, I'm Jennifer. Um, my question to you is, uh, what's the next big thing that you anticipate to come out of the Topshop Summer 2013 collection? Oh, I personally love the dungarees. Um, I actually wore them in the campaign and they're my absolute favourite and I can't wait to go and buy those at Topshop. Uh, they're really, really cool. Denim, love them. Awesome. Uh, next question to Kate. Hi, that's me. I have a non-fashion related question. Okay. <laughs> so, let's just say the universe is ending tomorrow. What would you want your last meal to be today? Oh my god, okay. Definitely something chocolatey. Um, I think I would have macaroni cheese, some burgers, pasta, and finish off with like a chocolate cake. I've actually given chocolate up for Lent which was a massive mistake, so I'm such a chocoholic, and um, so giving up that was really hard, so I have three days left and then I can eat it again. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot of chocolate and a lot of burgers and chips, everything like that. <laughs> Good answer. Um, so if we come to Imogen next. Hi, um, I'm Imogen. I was just wondering, um, how did we first get discovered? I'm oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you repeat how that again? How did we first get discovered? Oh, I got discovered at the clothes show in Birmingham when I was 15. I, me and my friends, we were in a group of three people and we were walking around like trying to find as many freebies as we could and uh, we had people come up to us, my agency Storm came up to us and tapped me on the shoulder and asked whether I'd ever thought about being a model and whether I wanted to and I said I've never thought about being it and they took my photo and then kind of all kicked off from there really. It was amazing, really exciting, scary as well. <laughs> so if we go to Polly next. Hi, I'm Polly. Um, I wanted to know how would you describe your style? My style? Um, I'm a very chilled out kind of style as you can see from the hoodie. Um, I just prefer to be relaxed and when I'm not modelling or anything I'm always either in my school uniform, <laughs> which is really lovely, or I'm in my doppers and riding gear. So I'm just chilled out, jeans, jumper, kind of relaxed style. Um, so, if we go to Becky. Hi. Hi. I'm Becky. Um, my question is, what's the best thing about being a model? Um, model is definitely the travelling. Uh, I've been to some literally amazing places that I never thought I'd ever be to. Um, I think my favourite was definitely Miami. We were shooting on the beach for Topshop uh, in like 30, 35 degrees heat just running around like on the beach, it was unbelievable. So I think the best thing is the traveling and also the people you meet as well. It's really interesting. So I think we're gonna take a break and go to some Twitter questions that I've been given today, which has been very exciting. I asked them this morning and lots of people have been amazing and sent some really cool questions in. So I'm just gonna pick out a few of my favorite ones. Um, so one from Naily is what do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, I am a horse rider and I just go riding all the time, like every day, and then I chill out with my friends, uh, but it's usually being at home with the horses, which is lovely. Um, another question which I really liked was from Just Call Me Kirsty, and she said, what do you love the most about living your double life and what is most challenging and do you get any freebies from Topshop? So to answer all three of those questions, what do I most love about uh, my double life? I think I love the fact that I have all that like extreme excitement from going to like New York and Paris and Miami and Milan and everything, and then suddenly I'm just thrown back into school and into school uniform and into my lessons, and I think it's just 
really the contrast between them is so crazy and so different, but it's really funny. And then what is the most challenging? Hmm. I think the most challenging thing is actually trying to revise when I'm away. I always have to try and revise on the um, trains and on the planes and everything for my exams. And that's probably the most challenging, but I somehow get it done occasionally. <laughs> I tell my teachers I do anyway. Um, and do I need good free D freebies from Topshop? I don't, but I would like to. So if anyone wants to put that out to Topshop, that would be great. You know, <laughs> I'd love some freebies. <laughs> um, so we'll do one more question and then we'll come back to you guys. Um, and it's from Alexandra Jane. And they say, will you continue your studies or become a full-time model after you finish school? I haven't actually decided about that yet. I would love to carry on with the double life that's going on at the moment. If modelling takes off and goes even further, I'll probably go to that. But I'm also a budding photographer, so I would love to do that too. So if we come back to questions from everyone, let's start with Karen again. Hi, so my question was quite similar to what you're just talking about actually. Okay. Was really, now you're so successful and get to travel the world, what are your plans for the future? What would you like to do? Uh, so as I was saying, my plans to try and carry on with the double life. Uh, I don't know how easy it's going to be, but definitely try that. And I love, I love doing the modelling part, so I'd never want to give that up. There's nothing in my mind that's thinking to stop that. So I definitely want to carry that on and see how the rest of school and life goes as well. Um, to Jennifer, please. Um, my question was, uh, where's your, what's the favorite, your favorite place that you've ever visited whilst you've been modeling? Uh, definitely Miami, uh, because it's not the typical place you have to go for um, modeling. Like the typical places are Paris, New York, and Milan, typical cities you go to. And Miami was such a bonus. And I actually went twice in six days or something. I went for two days for Vogue, and then I came to school for two days, and then I went back out for Topshop for two days in Miami. And that was the most crazy amount of traveling for those four days, but it was amazing out there. So hot, great team. And it was raining in England at that time, so it was lovely to go somewhere hot, not so cold. <laughs> so miserable at the moment as well. Um, so if we go to Kate, please. So with all that travel, how do you get over jet lag? <laughs> jet lag's a hard one. I don't, I never really have jet lag for some reason. I think it's because of the adrenaline and the excitement that you're getting from the jobs and everything like that. I just, was so busy all the time that you don't have any time to think about the jet lag. You know, literally I flew to Miami had a night there and then went straight into my jobs and then came straight back to school and when I got back to school it was the daytime and so I went straight into my lessons so you never really have that time to stop. I think there was one time where I did get home and I was like, oh, sleep now, but it's alright. <laughs> um, good question though. So, if we go to Imogen. Um, you've walked with some really big names. Is there anything you do just before you go on the catwalk to relax or pump yourself up? Um, that is a very good question. Well, before obviously you have the craziness of backstage at a runway where you're literally just thrown into hair and makeup, you'll sometimes have four people on you, five people on you at once, like all blow drying your hair and then someone's doing your makeup, someone's doing your nails, everything like that. Um, just before I go on the runway, I think I don't do anything specific, I don't do anything doing it, I just get on with it. So yeah. Um, we are going to do to the Twitter quickly um, before we answer any more questions. Um, so, if we go to Glam asked, Glam, Glam Updates asked, what is your favourite food? That is an easy one for me and it's chocolate. So, you know, if anyone, anyone wants to get me anything, just chocolate would be great, thanks. Um, and from Dina Fitcher and Nisa, it said, she says, how does it feel being a model and a squash player at the same time? So I'm quite a sporty girl at school. I do play a lot of squash and also lacrosse and athletics and everything like that. And again, I think it's the double life and it keeps me grounded having the squash and the lacrosse and everything because they're not 
you know, they're just they're not very glamorous games. So you've gone from glamour life to, you know, running around the squash court and hitting yourself with all the cross sticks and everything. So it's great fun. Um, oh, this is a great question from Ishma Inezda. I can't say that, I'm really sorry. Um, says, what would you do if you fall off the catwalk? I would probably kick myself, be very embarrassed, but get up and get on with it, probably laugh down the rest of the catwalk um, and get back and yeah, I'm not sure what I would do when I get backstage, but I don't think, I just fingers crossed that never happens, but if one day that happens, I'd, yeah, be very embarrassed. Um, so let's go to, what do we do on? Oh, so actually I got a tweet uh, from my brother today, Freddie, who says, who's your favourite sibling and why? Just because I'm live on Google Hangout, I'm going to say that it is not my brother, Freddie. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't have a favourite sibling. So, Freddie, if you're watching, it's not you. And I hope you like that I answered your question for you. Him and his friend Ben decided to ask some very horrible questions for me today. So, if we go back to everyone's questions, um... Can we go to Becky? Hi. Um, I was wondering what subjects do you do at school and how do you manage to balance your work and your modelling? Subjects I do at school. I don't do that many subjects at school. I do photography and sports science. And the way I balance it is I have the most incredible support from my agency, Storm, who make sure that I'm always at school when I need to be at school and they make sure that I'm always away when a nice big job comes up along. And then family and friends as well. Um, so yeah, that's how I balance it really. Um, I just got a question. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna ask you all questions now. I just want to know a bit more about you. So, if we start with Polly. Hi. Hi. Um, so, Polly, I have just a question to you. What do you do and how are you interested in the fashion world? Um, I actually have my own label with my sister. So, oh, amazing. Um, yeah, it's called Brat and Susie. We sell um, t-shirts and tops, kind of illustrated. So, um, yeah, so it was really great to speak to you today and that's why I wanted to come online and ask you some questions. Oh, amazing. It's been great to speak to you too. Loved all your questions. Um, so, Becky, I have a question for you. Um, what do you do and are you also interested in modelling or how we get into modelling? Um, I'm a photography student. Oh, wow. Um, so I do photography as well and I absolutely love fashion and everything to do with it. So Amazing. What's your, what's your favourite part of fashion? Um, I love London Fashion Week. I've spent ages watching all of the shows and I'd love to go <laughs> today. Amazing. Um, so if I ask Kate, um, you asked me about jet lag. Uh, do you do a lot of travelling yourself? Oh uh, yes, because I'm a travel writer. So I travel oh, all the time and I have such issues with jet lag. And you can probably tell I'm Australian so that big trip kills me every oh, yeah. time. I'm very <laughs> jealous that you have no issues with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's your favourite place that you've been to so far? You know what, it's terrible. I've, I've lived in I don't know, nine different countries and travelled to over a hundred and I love London the best. But as, really? You know, yeah, it's just so amazing. You can do anything in the city. Amazing. Um, but as in terms of like the most exotic, it's probably, I used to live in West Africa and Cameroon or wow. Kathmandu is pretty amazing. I've always wanted to go to Africa. I should yeah, go there. Good. It's amazing. Yeah, you persuaded me to go there. <laughs> um, how about Imogen? Um, they, you asked me what I do to prepare on the runway. What would you do? Do you think to prepare to go on the runway? Oh well, uh, prior to go on the runway, I get all the models and do a massive um, <laughs> Definitely, I like sure. that idea. <laughs> yeah, you should definitely try it. Get you pumped up. So. Yeah, we'll definitely do that next time. I'll tweet it. <laughs> definitely do that. Um, so, if we ask... Polly, you had a question that I don't know if you've asked yet. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to know if you prefer designer or high street? I think I prefer high street brands just because it's more me and it's yeah. more chilled out and it's easy and fun to wear. So, yeah, definitely high street. 
Um, if we go to Jennifer, um, is Jennifer there? Yeah, Jennifer, sir. Um, I have a question for you. You asked me what is my favourite place while I've visited modelling. I would ask you what's your favourite place that you've travelled to. Um, Why should I travel there? Um, <laughs> Why you need to travel somewhere? <laughs> I think San Francisco was my favourite place. Um, I used to live there, so um, it's de definitely worth a visit um, and take a trip to Berkeley. It's a really nice place. I used to study there, so I think you should definitely check it out if you're in the US. Amazing. I would definitely make sure I try to do that. Um, so if we go to Kate, um, you asked me what my last meal would be if, before, if the universe is about to end. What would your last meal be? You know what, I ask this question of a lot of people and macaroni and cheese, which you said, is almost yeah. every single person's favourite thing. But yeah, I'm definitely. with you on the chocolate. Yeah. And, and a lot of carbs. And a big steak. <laughs> and some foie gras because, you know, it's bad to eat, but I really like it. And I don't know, now you've got me all excited talking about food. And cakes and... I agree, I need some food now. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we go to Karen... Um, where is your favourite place that you travel to and why should I go? I think it's got to be Southeast Asia. I love like Vietnam and Malaysia and just the food there is incredible and Amazing. the people are really nice and friendly so uh, that would definitely be my favourite area. Cool. We're trying, our family are trying to think of a place to go on a summer holiday so this is great all these options for me now. <laughs> I'll definitely suggest some of these later to them. Um, so we're going to go to some more Twitter questions I think if I have any more. Um, what's my favourite item of clothing from Lucy Creedon? And I don't know if you can see, but it's definitely these boots that I got, which are cool. And I haven't actually taken them off for a while because they're so comfy and I just love walking around in them. Um, uh, another question is... Okay, this is from Alana, and she said, what has been your favourite photo shoot or fashion show? I think... My favourite photo shoot is difficult. Hmm, that's quite tricky. I think probably one of the ones in Miami, just because it was in Miami and it was such a great team. And same photographer both times, so it was awesome. Love that shoot so much. And fashion show has definitely got to be my first one, uh, Balenciaga because it was, just, it was my first one. It was just crazy, and I'd never done that kind of thing before. And I literally came from school two days before, straight out there, did all my fittings for them, walked with them and then went straight back to school again. So it's just madness the way it works. And um, yeah. And then the last one from Alexandra Jane is said, how did you feel about when you first started modeling? Nervous or super excited? Hmm. I think I was nervous about what it was all gonna be like. So when you, I didn't know what was going to happen on the shoot. I'd never really been into fashion before I started this, and just a normal like schoolgirl who rides horses, just you know, all that kind of rubbish. So I didn't know what it would be like, and so I was nervous about how it would work, how the hair and makeup would work, how changing would work, the camera, etc. But I was so excited to see all that and see behind the scenes of a photo shoot. So, yeah. Um, does anyone have any more questions that you want to ask me? I've got one on my Twitter oh, for, yeah. you, for you. Um, if if you were to guard to go gardening, what would you wear? Go gardening. Um, um, probably some trackies, something really dirty, some welly boots, and a big coat. <laughs> um, anyone else want some more questions? Could I ask you one? Yeah, of course. Um, who is your biggest inspiration or role model? The biggest inspirational role model, I think, I think it's like everyone's, and it's probably a boring answer because I'm sure everyone says this, but I think it's got to be Kate Moss, just because she's so incredible and she's been doing it for such a long time, and I just can't believe that she's still going, and it's amazing to see. So yeah, amazing. Um, anyone else? I've got one. If there was one uh, beauty product you couldn't do without, what would that be? I think it's uh, the new, I just got it the other day actually and it's turned out to be my favourite thing now ever and it's a skin product, it's called, it's from MAC and it's called the Volcanic Ash 
and it's this exfoliator and it just works a dream, I tell you. It's incredible. So that's my favourite. Go and buy it, it's amazing. And also simple skincare as well. All their wipes, I could not live without that, especially during fashion week. You should see all the girl, all the models in their bags have like a certain they have like a certain thing to have in your bag. And most people have simple wipes or, you know, a certain wipe of some kind because you just need to refresh yourself after so many castings. So yeah, that's what I keep. Uh, I don't think I don't know how many Twitter questions I have. I have one from Naley who says, "What's the best thing about modelling?" I think I kind of already answered that before, but it's the people you meet and the places you go. And hmm, I don't think I have any more that I have on here. I have um, another one so from Twitter. Think, oh, you have a question? Sorry, no, it's from Twitter. It's uh, from Becky Gard on Twitter. What type of photography do you like and who is your favourite photographer? Oh, that's a great question. Um, my favourite photographer... My favourite photographer I've worked with... Oh, maybe I shouldn't say this. Um, <laughs> it's probably Alistair McClellan. Um, great team. He shoots on film, which I absolutely love. Um, and my favourite piece of photography. I like, I just like abstract photography. I've, if, I'm a, if I become a photographer, I don't think I'd go into fashion just because I want to do my own thing. So yeah. Um, and I think there's time for one more question from anyone. Oh, I've got one. Yes. If you could be an animal, what animal would you be? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably be a, a dog because they have such a great life. I mean, they just, you know, they're at home all day with a nice loving family and they get walked and they get to play outside and then they just sleep all day. So I think a dog has had a nice easy life, so I'd probably be a dog. Mm, good choice. <laughs> so thank you so much for all coming. I had such a great time talking to all of you and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I'll see you soon. Thanks, Bye. Rosie. Bye. 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 Bye.